you. Um, listen, don't have time to get to everyone just yet. Uh, we'll try to acknowledge as many of you as we go through tonight. Uh, Thursday night, give me a moment here. Thursday night is uh, the night where we share our um, generational uh, wealth model, and we go in more detail. So really quickly, um, we uh, have three live Zooms um, each week. Sunday night is our night where we uh, share the four pillars of faith, and we go uh, a, a deep dive into those four pillars of faith so that we can begin to apply those principles to our lives to affect lasting personal transformation in those areas uh, in life that are important to us. So that's on Sunday night. Uh, Tuesday night, we do a combo uh, Zoom where we talk a little about the four pillars and a little about our generational wealth model. Uh, and then Thursday night, uh, which you're on, of course, Thursday night in my part of the world, uh, for some of you like Lindsay, I think it's Friday morning already. Um, we're going to talk about the generational wealth model. So if you're here for the first time and you know um, little about who we are and what we do, let me just uh, share with you our unique value proposition. Now, while we're going to focus primarily on the income side of things tonight, um, I've been in this industry for 30 years. We've made millions in this industry. And I can tell you that most companies in this industry put the cart before the horse. What does that mean? Excuse me. That means, um, you know, we put the income opportunity out front, which obviously is why we're here. We all want to make extra money for now. And we're going to talk about um, money for down the road, a generational wealth model. Um, however, if we don't deal with our thinking, as a man thinks in his heart, so is he. So the proverb says, uh, so if we're coming to any income opportunity, predisposed that, um, oh, this thing's not going to work. Let me try and see if this one works, or I just had a rug pull, or I've not been successful. So we're bringing to that income opportunity a failure mindset. Then guess what? It doesn't matter if the uh, uh, compensation model pays you a 500%. <laughs> okay, somebody makes a makes a purchase of 100 bucks and you, you make $10,000. Wouldn't matter, all right, if we don't change what's up here and what's in here. As a man, as a woman, thinks in his or her heart, so is he, she, we. So our four pillars real quickly, unique value proposition, gratitude, great attitude. And this is where we want to, uh, our being, where we're grateful, we're thankful. Someone asked me a question about that uh, uh, today. We want to have an attitude where we're always grateful for the good stuff and the not so good stuff, because that's going to usher in the stuff that we want. That's going to usher in having a positive attitude. And we need to have that positive attitude if we're going to attract uh, success. Vision is number two. Number three is heart. So we want to have vision. We want to uh, write our vision down. We want to make it plain. All right. We can't hit a target that we can't see, but then we want to go the extra step and we want to take time out every single day, multiple times a day and really sit in the feeling of what it would feel like once our uh, vision is attained. Once we actualize that vision, once we hit this target and that target and this target, what will that feel like? Uh, so that our body, which doesn't know the difference, all right, uh, um, will um, feel what it's going to be like when we hit that goal. And then number four, affirmation. So we do a deep dive into these four pillars and how we can apply them to our lives to effect a positive personal transformation on Sunday night. Tonight, our focal point is talking about our uh, income model, what we refer to as our generational wealth plan. Give me just a moment. I want to pull something up real quick. Give me a moment here. All right. So I want to pull up my calculator because I want us to see this. So, um, John was telling me that he was having some internet problems uh, over there across the pond today. Um, um, today, uh, So he may or may not be with us. 
I don't see him. All right, so I'm going to speak for him on this, all right, because I've heard him, William, talk about this several times. Years ago, um, he was introduced to Bitcoin when Bitcoin was going for just a nickel, five cents. Now, uh, his buddy implored him, John, buy some Bitcoin, buy $1,000 worth of Bitcoin, all right, and just sit on it and see, what, see what's going to happen. John did not do that. But let me show you if John had, if he had taken a grand, $1,000. And he had bought Bitcoin when it was five cents. He would have 20,000 Bitcoin. Now, this didn't happen, but let's assume that it did for the purposes of this example. All right. Let's say that he bought the thousand dollars worth of Bitcoin, held on to it. OK. Had 20,000 Bitcoin when Bitcoin was at a price of 66,000. It actually peaked uh, at closer. I think it was like 72,000 or so. OK, but I'll just use 66,000. This is the um, amount it was uh, a couple of weeks back when I took this um, um, screenshot. Maybe it's, maybe it's a month ago. OK, well, look at this. That would have been. One point three billion with the B dollars of value. Now, my own personal uh, testimony as it relates to Bitcoin. Uh, my late wife and I were in uh, Santiago, Chile in 2013 for an investment workshop. Um, and that's when we first heard about Bitcoin. Didn't make any sense to us. OK, digital money um, didn't make any sense. Uh, 2014 was my first, first foray into the Bitcoin cryptocurrency space. I, I started promoting an offer that paid in Bitcoin in August of 2014. So it was Bitcoin in, Bitcoin out. So I had to convert usable cash into Bitcoin. I did so. My first Bitcoin uh, was $515 a Bitcoin. Now, um, that uh, that company um, was around for about four and a half, almost five years. Okay. Now, what happened was because I didn't get Bitcoin, it went from $515 down to $400, down to $300, down to $200, down to I think it was $166. Bucks. Um, you know, the internet was saying that Bitcoin is a scam, sham, uh, Ponzi scheme. Uh, and then the company I was promoting for, uh, people were saying that's a scam, sham, Ponzi scheme. And I just got all that stuff in my head. And so even though I started building a network um, of others that were participating with that project, all getting paid in Bitcoin, uh, I basically stopped promoting uh, cold turkey. So I still had a team. So I was, still was generating some revenue. Um, I was earning in Bitcoin. The problem was because I wasn't actively building that business, most of the Bitcoin that I earned, I converted into usable, spendable cash. Now, likewise, a buddy of mine who I referred to that project, he kept building his business. So he's getting paid more Bitcoin than I was getting paid because he was actively building his business. Now, I don't know what his financial situation was, but obviously he wasn't. He didn't have to convert as much of his Bitcoin into usable, spendable cash because he, he, he earned more of it. So four years down the road, after being with that uh, enterprise, he reaches out to me and he says to me, thanks, man. Thanks, prof. Thanks for what I say. He said, because of you, I am a multi-millionaire. To which I said, what I do? <laughs> because I wasn't a multi-millionaire, okay? What did I do? He said, and he, he mentioned the name of the project that I introduced him to, all right? And he had amassed enough Bitcoin that Bitcoin, I want to say around that time, I want to say, I could be off a little bit, was in the $17,000, $18,000 range. So an asset that I originally bought for 515 came all the way down to 166. And we're getting little pieces of Bitcoin getting paid to us uh, uh, in that model. Ultimately, it was up to, I want to say, 17 or maybe $18,000 a Bitcoin. And because of that, because he had amassed some Bitcoin, he was a multimillionaire. Now, what does that have to do with billion dollar mind? What does that have to do with our generational wealth model? Well, folks, Bitcoin, the biggest returns on Bitcoin have already been made. Might Bitcoin go to $100,000? Yes, but that wouldn't even be doubling from where it currently is now. 
Might it go to a million dollars? Yes, it might. A, a Bitcoin, that would be amazing. Okay. But the biggest returns have already happened. There is a um, an asset called Flare. The developer of our system, his daughter has worked very extensively on um, the Flare project. So she has a lot of understanding about what the project is now and what the plans are for Flare and the potential. Now, some pundits are suggesting that this asset, when I took this, it was uh, going for two cents. It's actually about a, a penny and a half now, okay? Uh, more like 1.4 something cents now, okay? Some assets are saying that this, I'm sorry, some pundits are saying that Flair could get to, hear me, $40,000 a Flair. $40,000. Now, I'm not going to go way out there. I have no idea, okay? I will say that what we're going to share with you tonight, our target here at Billion Dollar Mind is to help every single one of our members that have a little bit of want to. Now, you got to have some want to now. Okay, it's not going to happen by osmosis. All right, so you got to do a little effort here, a little bit of effort. But our target is to get you to where, even after, Lindsay, you have converted, Yusuf, uh, uh, enough flair into usable, spendable cash to take care of more immediate cash flow needs. We want you to have somewhere between 5 million to 10 million flair or even higher, Liz. Now, I want you to imagine. That flare doesn't go to 40,000. It goes to a dollar. But you're sitting on 5 million flare. You're sitting on 8 million flare. You're sitting on 10 million flare. That's 5 of the 10 million right there. Flare doesn't go to 40,000. It goes to four. And if you were sitting on 5 million flare, that'd be 20 million. Perhaps, maybe, maybe generational wealth. If you were sitting on 10 million flare, that would be 40 million. So I will tell you out of all of the income opportunities out there in the marketplace, and there's plenty of them out there, there's some great ones out there, all right? And I believe in multiple streams of income. I'm putting my flagship down a line in the sand here at Billion Dollar Mine because I missed what happened with Bitcoin. I was there, didn't take advantage of it. And I don't want my children or my unborn grandchildren to say, well, my my sons call me pop and my grandchildren, hopefully one day when I have them, will call me G-pop, grandpop. G-pop, why didn't you go for it when you were in Billion Dollar Mind? You could have set us up for generations to come. And that's what we want to talk about over these next uh, few minutes. Okay, so now let's go to work. Billion Dollar Mind has a generational wealth plan. It is a donation plan, okay? It's a donation plan. We are employing laws of the universe, universal laws. Here we're employing the, the law of, uh, of the harvest. Some call it uh, sowing and reaping. And this is how this goes. There's three parts to this law. We have to reap to sow. I'm sorry, we have to sow to reap, number one. Number two, um, back up. We reap what we sow, number one. We reap what we sow, number one. Number two, we have to sow to reap. Number three, once we begin to reap, we reap more than what we sow. So here are some of the highlights. There are no monthly subscriptions, so no bill. We've got low, medium, high ticket donation packages and thus low, medium, high ticket uh, uh, payouts. So we've got donation packages as little as $10. Everything is in flare. So $10 worth of flare, okay, to as high as $20,000 and a whole bunch of options uh, in between. And so this is going to uh, offer tremendous amounts of payouts. Why? Because we have an 80% payout. Because we are a donation plan, and we are not having to manufacture physical products. That means that we're able to pay out far more. 20% stays with the company to run the company and all the stuff that is required to run a company. But 80% gets paid out, and this is key, to one person. Now, why is that key? Because usually in our make money online niche, 
when you have a uh, a platform that pays out multiple people, then you have a lower uh, payout. Usually, let's say a product based company, and I'm not here to foo foo you on any company, um, but they've got to manufacture that product or that service, and so they can only pay out maybe 35 to maybe 50 percent, versus we're paying out 80 percent. But then when you take that already lowered payout and you stretch it to pay out five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten people, uh, however many people may get paid in the structure, then you further dilute the amount that's being paid out. Instead, with our model, you take someone like my buddy Jim, who refers a buddy of his, his buddy came aboard with multiple donation packages um, I think he had about a $4,000 uh, budget or so that paid my buddy Jim out 3,200 or so in some change from one referral that made some donations. Okay. Very powerful. All right. No loss payouts. I'm going to make sure you understand that. This is one of the, our community favorites. This is one of the things that's attracting people uh, to us. No loss payouts as well as no loss referrals. You'll understand both of those. And then unlimited with unlimited debt payouts. Um, single payouts can range from as low as $8 on a $10 donation to as high as $16,000 on a $20,000 donation. Um, and in the very early stages when we were just getting going, uh, one of the folks came aboard with a $10,000 donation that paid out uh, to the person that they are connected to or coded to, you may hear me say coded a lot, that paid out $8,000, that one donation, okay? Uh, cumulative payout. With all the donation packages, which I'm about to share with you, you could maybe perhaps potentially, all of my disclaimers, you could have one referral. And if you go through the entire donation tree, they go through the entire donation tree, which is the whole idea for everyone to get through the entire donation tree that could be almost $50,000 being paid out to you, okay? Uh, very soon, uh, and we're in the, uh, what we call the soft launch stage, getting ready to get ready. Uh, in the background right now, uh, they are uh, finalizing some testing on uh, the withdrawal uh, system so that you'll be able to withdraw. Uh, so this isn't uh, in place just yet. Again, getting ready to get ready. All right. But once it's in place, when someone makes a donation, you go in your back office and you say, OK, I've got funds sitting there in my wallet. You can withdraw that immediately. You don't have to wait for the 15th of the month or for the end of the week or for the end of, of the month or what have you. As soon as that donation is made and it goes into your wallet, you'll be able to withdraw. OK, now let's talk about the various donation plans. And this is where we're going to spend a little time talking about how this uh, works and no loss commissions, okay? No loss payouts, no loss payouts. Okay, so each of these plans, the 10, the 50, the 100, the 2,500, the 10,000, the 20,000, each of these plans are individual plans, okay? And when you donate to that specific plan, then that means you are qualified to earn the payout from that specific plan. But it gets better than that. Because even if, let's say you started off with plan 2,500, and oftentimes people will ask me, what's the, what's the, what's the sweet spot? Plan 2,500 is the sweet spot. Now, never make a donation you cannot afford uh, 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 to give. All right. And we are donating. All right. So, uh, when I made my donation, all right, my donation went to, uh, my referrer who happens to be John. All right. Whatever, um, uh, uh, he, I know he's looking to raise funds because he wants to, um, he's been supporting for years, uh, some orphanages, uh, in Uganda, but he wants to increase, um, um, assisting with orphanages. Okay. So I knew that when I was making a donation that what he was going to receive as a payout was going to go to something that was dear to him. Now, dear to you might be paying your bills. 
Dear to you might be fortifying your retirement. Dear to you might be taking care of your aging parents or uh, 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 grandchildren or what have you. Okay, here we go. So plan 2,500. All right. Let's say you referred someone and they came aboard with plan 5,000. Now, this is where in most um, uh, platforms you would lose because a person that you brought on that made a donation, they're coded to you, they did a plan higher than yours. And you would lose this $4,000 payout. And almost every platform I've seen out there. In some cases, what would happen, since you were not qualified, that $4,000 would either go up to a person uh, that's in your lineage, in your leadership line above, that it is qualified, all right? So, um, they're pretty happy that you're not qualified for the plan 5,000 because they get it. Or it would go, they call it breakage, to the company, okay? In which case, the company is pretty cool um, that you weren't qualified for plan 5,000 because the company gets it. I'm talking about other platforms, not ours. John, the developer, said, no, we're not going to do that. We don't want anyone to lose out. We don't want someone who comes aboard and maybe because they don't have the financial resources to do the plan 5,000, you know, maybe things have been kind of tight, tough for them. And so they got started wherever they could get started. You want to get started at the highest plan that makes sense for you and your family. All right. But John said, I don't want this person losing out. So here's what would happen. This 4,000 would not be lost. It would go on hold. I call it a bank. The back office is going to say on hold, okay? And then this 4000 goes to do something very special. It goes to qualify you for the plans that you are not yet qualified for. So what would happen is you would get um, uh, from the 4000 $10 would go to donate to plan 10. So that also means that somebody that you're coded to gets a donation and they get 80% of that $10 um, uh, donation or $8. The system would also say, hey, there's still le money left over. So let's go on to do plan 50. This would happen automatically. Plan 100, plan 250, plan 500, plan uh, 1,000. Okay, so here was 4,000. And I think if we do the numbers, 10 and 50 is 60, is 100 is 160, is 250, is 410. 500 is 910, uh, 1000 is 1910. Well, you've already done plan 2500. So the system's not going to do another 2500. You're already qualified for that. Okay. So it would take 1910 from the 4000. It would then take care of these other, the smaller plans, and you'd have 2090 left over. That doesn't break to the company, that doesn't go upline somewhere. Okay. That remains in your bank. So now, for instance, um, let's say um, you brought on a another person that did a, a, a plan of 5,000 that was coded to you. You'll understand that in just a few moments, okay? And that does another 4,000 uh, payout, all right? Well, now you had a 4,000 payout and you had the 6,000, I'm sorry, the 2,090 that would then automatically upgrade you to the plan 5,000. So the whole idea is to ultimately get everyone through every single one of these plans. And if someone that is coded to you happens to be in a, um, a more fluid or more liquid financial state than you, and they're able to go ahead of you in terms of some of these higher plans, it does not hurt you. Okay, that's called no loss payout. Okay, now let's talk about the structure. That's powerful, ladies and gentlemen. That right there, I've not seen that in this industry. And I've been in this industry 30 years and I've made millions. I haven't seen that one. All right, now let's talk about the structure. Let me look at my time and see what I've got, how much time I have to work with. Okay, all right, so now let's say that uh, this is Sue. And let's say that Sue represents every single person that's on uh, the Zoom. And you're building your referral network, okay? So uh, um, I'm hoping next week 
will be able to launch the um, Billion Dollar Mind, the BDM portal, which will have uh, tremendous content that you'll be able to share uh, with your audiences to bring value to them. Uh, but in bringing value to them, they're going to be attracted to want to find out more about what we have going on here. So let's say that Sue brings on Jorge, Sasha, Becky, Paul, Rodney, and Elizabeth. Okay. Now, all of these folks, let's say that they want to build their own networks. They they want to start generating um, uh, donations coming to them. So they decide to make donations themselves. Now, let's share some things here. You're going to receive payouts from the first, the third, the fifth, and beyond. You'll understand this in just a moment. So the first person that makes a donation to a specific plan, I showed you 12 different plans. Each plan works independently. So you could have Becky being the first person to donate to one plan. She might be the third to donate to another plan. She might be the 17th person to donate to yet another plan. Okay. The first person, the third, the fifth, and beyond, so the fifth, sixth, seventh, eighth, ninth person that donates to a specific plan is part of your harvest. That donation is going to be credited to you. That donation is going to be credited to you. That's part of your harvest, law of the harvest uh, uh, here. Now, your donations. So when you donate, you come aboard and you say, I've got a $2,500 budget. I'm going to donate $2,500. You come aboard, you say, I have a $5,000 budget. I've got a $1,000 budget. I've got a $50 budget, whatever, okay? That donation is part of you sowing, part of the, we reap what we sow. We've got to sow to reap. When we reap, we reap more than what we sow. Also, the second person and the fourth person that happens to be coded to you that uh, uh, donates to a specific plan that donation, the proceeds, the payout from that donation is going to go up. It's going to go upstream. Now, what does that mean? Let me show you. Okay. So here's Sue, Jorge, Sasha, Becky, Paul, Rodney, and Elizabeth. Okay. Now, let's say that Sue, Sue came aboard um, and she started off with 2500 Okay, she started off with twenty five hundred. Now I want to say this first and foremost: Why is twenty five hundred the um, the sweet spot? Okay, let's say that Paul is the first person that donates to the twenty five hundred level, the first person of Sue's referrals that donates to the twenty five hundred dollar level. Okay. The reason this is the sweet spot is because if Sue did 2,500, Paul did 2,500, this 2,000 right here, that 2,000 alone could cover Sue's donations that she's not yet qualified for. So that $2,000 can go and take care of the 10, the 50, the 100, the 250, the 500, and the $1,000 donations. And she would still have some money left over. That's why 2500 is the sweet spot. So if you can start at 2500 and teach your folks, the speed of the leaders, the speed of the group, to come aboard with 2500 that's the best case scenario. That allows you um, to optimize the plan and then ultimately get all the way through. Okay. Will everybody be able to do that? Certainly not. Now, you might say, well, why is it that Paul, Paul's the, actually the one, two, three, fourth person that Sue referred. Um, why did this $2,000 get credited to Sue? Because Paul is the first of Sue's referrals that actually donated to the $2,500 plan. Okay. Does it matter that he happened to be the fourth person she referred? Let's say Jorge, for instance. Okay. Jorge. He just wants to get his feet wet, all right? He's never bought cryptocurrency before. Um, 
He does a quick $10 to see how it all works. Okay. And he's the first to do $10. So he's the first to do $10. Okay. Now, Sue, let's say she's qualified for that $10. Okay. Then she's going to get the $8 payout because she's qualified. So that's going to go into her payout wallet where she can withdraw. Now, let's say that once Jorge has gotten his feet wet, Jorge says, you know what? I see this now. I get this now. Um, I've got the resources. I want to do 2,500 because, excuse me, uh, because that's a sweet spot. All right. Now, right now, Jorge would be the second. to do the 2,500. So what happens to Jorge's uh, $2,500 donation? What happens to the $2,000 payout? Where does that go? That is going to go upstream. Remember, you're going to get the first, the third, the fifth, and beyond donations. All right, so the first person that donates to the 2,500 you're going to get credit to that. The third person, let's say that, um, so Jorge was the second. Let's say that Becky was the third to do 2,500. Okay. That would go to Sue. Let's say that Sasha is the fourth to do the 2,500. That would go upstream. Let's say that Rodney is, let's say that Elizabeth is the fifth to do 2,500, that would go to Sue. First, third, fifth, and beyond. And let's say that Rodney is the sixth to do 2,500. That also would go to Sue. If Rodney was the sixth or the 17th or the 183rd for the 2,500, that would go to Sue, okay? Now, Jorge, could be the first to do the thousand. That would go to Sue. Sasha could be the first that does the 10,000. That would go to Sue. Becky could be the fourth that does the 10,000. That would go upstream. All right, so you're starting to get it. The first person the third person, the fifth person and beyond that donates to a specific plan, that person for that plan is coded to you and you get the payout. Let me say that again. The first, third, fifth and beyond person that donates to a specific plan, they are coded to you for that plan, you get the payout. The second and the fourth person that donates to that plan, that donation goes upstream. That's your seed. But remember, you reap more than what you sow because you get the first, the third, the fifth, the sixth, the 17th, the 189th. Okay. All right. Now, just about finished. Let's give you a couple more highlights, okay? So those first, third, fifth, and beyond that we just spent time uh, sharing, okay? When they are coded to you in a specific plan, and so each person could be coded to you, um, could be coded differently based on the plan, all right? Those six people that we showed, they could all be coded differently as we go throughout uh, um, the donation tree. But if they're coded to you, the first, third, and fifth, and beyond, then their second and fourth will also be coded to you, and you will get the credit when they make that donation. Now, let's make sure you get this, okay? Let's make sure you get this. So let's go back. So in our example, Paul was the first person 
that did the 2,500, okay? So Paul is coded to you for the 2,500, and you get credit for that 2,000. <clears throat> now, if you weren't qualified for the 2,000 just yet, do you lose it? No. It goes in your bank, and it goes to qualify you for as many of the plan options you have not yet gotten qualified for, okay? But what's key is that Paul is connected to you, coded to you for plan 2,500. So what does this mean? This means that the first person that Paul brings aboard that does the 2,500, Paul gets that donation because that's his first. But the second person that Paul brings aboard that does the 2,500, this person right here is coded to you for plan 2,500, which means when they do their 2,500, you get that 2,000 payout. I want that to sink in. Because Paul was a first, or he could have been a third, or he could have been a fifth, or beyond, he's coded to you for that donation plan. That means that his second and his fourth that donate to that specific plan are also coded to you. And not only that, this person here, their second and their fourth. This person here, their second and their fourth for the $2,500 plan all coded to you. So just... Just look, and it keeps on. Is this person second and fourth? 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 To an unlimited depth. So we started off, we said unlimited width, meaning you can refer as many people as you like. Unlimited depth that can go down to an unlimited depth, infinity. So any of these folks here, when they do the 2,500, that's 2,000, 2,000 coming to suit, 2,000 coming to suit, 2,000, 2,000, 2,000, 2,000, 2,000, 2,000, 2,000, 2,000, 2,000, 2,000. And that's just with Paul. think we said Sasha maybe uh, no Becky was the third person that did the 2500 in our example that means that her second and her fourth are coded to sue for the 2500 and their second and fourth and their second and fourth and their second and fourth each plan works exactly like this so whoever is your first your third and fifth for plan 10 their second and fourth 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 will be donating to you, coded to you for that plan. Whoever's coded to you at plan 50, your first, third, fifth, and beyond, their second and fourth, second and fourth, second and fourth, second and fourth, second and fourth for that plan, coded to you. That works that way for all of the plans. So even when you get to plan 20,000, your first, your third, your fifth, sixth, seventh, 198th, those are coded to you, but they're second in force, and they're second in force, and they're second in force, and they're second in force are all coded to you for that plan. Got to hurry it up, okay? That, ladies and gentlemen, is powerful. Let me show you what this looks like, okay? So this is yours truly. And in plan 10, I just took a little snapshot. My buddy, Mike Vitrano, was the first person. He wasn't the first person I referred. Okay. Um, but he was the first person that donated to plan 10. And so with plan 10, he's my first. I got that payout. 80% or eight bucks. Yusuf was my second with plan 10. So Yusuf's donation went upstream. For that plan, 
Yusuf is number two. Francis, for this plan, is number three. That went to me. Uh, Mila is number four. That went upstream. Jim Burrow was number five, and Alex is number six, and so fifth, sixth, so on. All right, those go to me. First, third, fifth, sixth, seventh, eighth, nineteenth. All right. Now, what this also means is that Mike, and I did this very early on, so this looks a lot different now, but Michael, his second referral, Michael's first referral that did the 10 went to him, that donation. His second person that does the 10, that's going to go upstream to yours truly. His third that does the 10 is going to go to Michael. His fourth that does the 10 is going to go to yours truly. His fifth, sixth, seventh, 192nd that does the 10 is going to go to Michael. Okay. Now I want you to remember this. We're almost finished. I want you to remember this. Michael is my is my number one in plan 10. Yusuf is my number two in plan 10. Now look at this. Now we're looking at plan 50. Remember, each donation plan stands alone. And so the order in which someone donates is going to vary, okay? Now, what this does is this says there's no manipulation because if somebody comes aboard and they say, well, my second and fourth, that's going to go upstream. So I'm going to put my parakeet as my second and I'm going to put my pet turtle as my fourth. Well, that's not going to work because that means that while they may be your second and fourth on the, the lower uh, levels, they might be your first, your third, your fifth on the higher ones, in which case you're going to get stuck. Because if your parakeet's not building the business and the turtle's not building the business, then you're just stuck there. All right. And that's just wasted time, wasted energy and wasted resources. All right. Look who's in position one and plan 50. Yusuf, he was number two. In plan 10. So in plan 10, that donation went upstream. But I didn't lose Yusuf. Because in plan 50, Yusuf was the first one, which means that his second and his fourth, and again, I did this very early on, like the first couple days, all right, when we first got started, his second and fourth are going to go upstream. He will maintain his first, third, fifth, for that plan. Okay. And look at who's number two. Michael is. So Michael was number one with plan 10. But he was number two with plan 50. All right. No manipulation. No lost payouts. No lost referrals. No manipulation. Look at this. Let's go to plan 100. And we see a different person in, in um, slot number one. Yusuf is there in slot number two. Now, I can tell you what's not shown here is Michael, I think, is like number five or six or seven or what have you. So Michael Vitrano um, is also has also done Plan 100 now. He didn't come out of the gate doing it. So Yusuf got there a little bit quicker. All right. Doesn't matter. All right. So all I'm focused on is building my entire network. Plan 250. Now you see. We've got Thomas was the first one to plan 250. Michael Vitrano was the second one. So that donation went up. And I'm excited. I'm excited that that donation went up. Why am I excited? Because I know I'm sowing good seeds. I understand the law of the harvest. And then let's show you right now plan 500. There we go. Michael once again. So Michael is in the number one position. Michael brought on Jeffrey. I know uh, Jeffrey just brought on someone who did the 500. All right. So uh, Jeffrey's uh, payout went to Michael because Jeffrey was the first person that did the 500. All right. With Michael. Jeffrey brought on someone uh, that did 500. So who got that? Jeffrey got that. Okay. However, Michael is coded to me in plan 
uh, 500. So that means that Michael's second and his fourth, when they do plan 500, I'll get that $400 payout. And they're second and fourth, 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 they're second and fourth, and so on. Okay, let's start the round third. Now, folks, I really want us to move with a sense of urgency. Give me a moment. I really want us to move with a sense of urgency. Why? Because flair is not going to be two cents. I took this the other day. It was down to one and a half cents. All right. It's not going to be there forever. I don't believe. Okay. It's a newer blockchain. So they're still uh, building out their infrastructure. As that starts to uh, get more developed and more developed, likely the price is going to raise. Now, we've got a um, uh, a donation that's a $20,000 donation. I want to use that as an example for right now. Let's say that you're in time, you're qualified for the $20,000 donation to receive that. Uh, not just in your bank, but to actually receive that as withdrawable, okay? So that would be $16,000 in withdrawable um, uh, Flare. Now, if that happened when Flare is at 0 0.0156, that means that when you draw it out, you would be withdrawing 1 million Flare. Let me say that again. So if you got the highest payout of 16000 and Flair was going for basically 1.56 cents, when you withdrew that out, you'd have a million Flair going into your, um, your own crypto wallet. And why is that important? Okay. Because our goal is to get you to 5 to 10 million Flair. If you say, you know what, there's been companies that have come and gone, there have been rug pulls, and I'm going to wait. I'm going to hold off. I might even be in BDM right now. I may come to some of the Zooms, but, you know, I'm I'm not going to really go for it. You know, I want to see if they get everything in place and see if they're here a year from now. We had uh, some folks trolling us, and they may still be trolling us. That's just part of the, part of the, um, the business that happens. You know, so uh, maybe some people are saying, well, let me let me just wait and see. I'll, I'll wait a year. OK, well, let's say I don't know that this is going to happen. Let's say in a year's time you get that sixteen thousand dollar payout. But Flair is going for two dollars. As opposed to under two cents. Then when you would draw it out, that's eight thousand Flair. Versus. One million flare you see the difference and i know all too well because i was there when bitcoin was 500 dollars 515 in my case and it got all the way down to 166 bucks and instead of really going for it and earning as much bitcoin as i could i let the naysayers i let the trollers get in my head and then i stopped promoting that business and where my buddy when bitcoin was at 17,000 was a multi-millionaire. And now Bitcoin is more than three times where it was. So if he was, I don't know, if he was worth $2 million then and he kept the same amount of Bitcoin, he'd be worth $6 million now. Left somewhere between $10 and $20 million on the table because I didn't go for it. And with all the income opportunities that are out there, and there's plenty of good ones, the reason I have planted my flag here is for this potential here. What if I accumulate 10 million flag? Not what if, I'm going to accumulate at least that. And flare goes not to 40,000, goes to four. Now, talking generational wealth, okay? All right, so now, as we start to round third, what do you want to do? 
You want to get back to the person who referred you, get their referral link. You'll register for free. Then you want to come inside and you want to determine what is your uh, uh, donation budget. Remember, this is the law of the harvest. Okay. So if you say, hey, I've got resources, but I'm only going to do $10, you basically just planted a seed that you only want people doing $10. Now, if all you've got is $10 and you did, you know, what that's what made sense to you. Okay. Well, you planted the seed. You did your best. Now, we don't want anybody to go out there and hurt themselves. Don't go out and not pay bills to do this. All right. But give your best donation. And if that's 2,500, do 2,500. If it's 5,000, do 5,000. If it's 500, do 500. Now you're planting a seed that as you share our model for other people to do their best donation, okay? All right, so start off with the highest donation plan that makes sense for you and your family. The speed of the leader is the speed of the group. Remember, this is the law of the harvest. And so what donation would you like people to come aboard with? I was so excited uh, to see Jim's uh, referral came on. I think I had a little more than a $4,000 budget. Didn't quite start off with the 5000 So they did the 2500 Jim's person did the twenty-five, the 1000 the 500 the 250 the 100 the 50 the 10 And I don't even know if Jim has referred more than one. I don't know. But I do know when I saw it that that was the first person that donated to each of those plans. So what that meant for Jim was a $2,000 payout, an $800 payout, a $400, a $200, an $80, a $40, and an $8. Some of that, because he hadn't qualified for all of those, went to get him qualified. The remaining, I think it was like $1,600 and some change is sitting in his withdrawable wallet. And just as soon as the withdrawals are unable, which hopefully it will just be a few days from now, he'll be able to withdraw that. And now he's qualified for many of these options that he was not qualified for before. All right, so ladies and gentlemen, get back with the person who referred you, get the referral link, go on and get started uh, with us. Start off with the plan that makes the most sense to you. Uh, Hey, I didn't see you there before, John. Bear with me. Looks like John is. Hey, John. I've been quiet because I got some construction going on next door, but uh, great, great job, Professor. Great uh, webinar you put, uh, put on here. Let me just say just a few things. Can you hear me okay, or am I getting Yeah, yeah can, he, can hear you just fine. I can barely hear that uh, construction, so you're good. Okay, very good. Anyway, folks, our product here is you and helping you accomplish whatever projects in life that you can't accomplish alone. You know, and I think we all have those. You know, perhaps you need to get your teeth fixed. Uh, that can cost an arm and a leg nowadays. Maybe you've failed uh, or you've borrowed money, you've just to stay afloat and you need to pay that back almost everybody's hurting today and it's amazing how we can help each other when we just come together you know most of you are familiar with napoleon hill's book think and grow rich where he talks about the mastermind group here was a group of businessmen they they met together on a regular basis with the intention of helping each other in their various businesses they probably donated to each other or borrowed money you know, to one another, but they all became multimillionaires and some become billionaires. And why is that? Why does that work? Well, there's another universal law that comes into play. And when we help each other, the world calls it synergy, but I call it God doing the heavy lifting. You know, if you have two horses that can each pull a weight of a, a thousand pounds, when you hitch them together, they can pull three to 5,000 pounds. Where is that extra power coming from? It's not coming from the horses. I mean, the math says if a horse can pull 1,000 pounds and the other one can pull 1,000 pounds, you put them together, that's 2,000 pounds. There is an unseen power. We call it synergy. 
Again, I call it God doing the heavy lifting, but it works with animals, it works with ants, it works with horses, it works with humans. When we come together, we get something else. God is working with us. Wow. An unseen power pulled the extra weight because mathematically it's impossible. The simple fact is when you help lift the burdens of others, God lifts even more of your burdens. Wow. Wow, John. Whoa, I felt that one, man. Wow. I'm sorry. <laughs> no, no, I'm not sorry, but wow. That's powerful, man. That's what we have. That's what we've always had. We've always had this. So what is Billion Dollar Mind about? It's for us to come together in a mastermind situation, a mastermind platform where we can talk amongst each other. We can encourage each other. We can donate to each other. And in return, more comes back to us because the law of the harvest is whatever you sow, you're going to reap more. Right? Thank you. Oh, that, that was powerful. <laughs> absolutely powerful and for those of you who are guests with this uh that is john he is the developer uh, of the system um has been in this industry for a long while has actually been at the head of uh, a lot of different companies and has been an owner in this industry one of the um one of the companies that he was an owner uh, with became just under a billion dollar enterprise uh the beautiful part here the beautiful part um, is, let's say, uh, over time, you know, whether it's in a year, two years, five years, what have you, one and a quarter billion dollars uh, gets donated uh, through the Billion Dollar Mind platform. A billion of that, 80 percent, is going out to the community. I want you to think about that. One and a quarter billion dollars in donations coming through this platform means that a billion paid in flair, paid in an asset that has the potential to go through the roof from where it is right now, even if it only gets to $2 and it's two cents now, that's a hundred times where it is right now. So uh, get back to the person who referred to you. Um, I was looking over at the questions box. If you had any questions? I see a lot of comments, a lot of great comments. I appreciate that. If you have any questions, go to put those in the questions box. Right now, I'm seeing comments, not questions. Have any questions, put them in the questions box. If not, we are going to call it a night. All right, you've got five. Counting down. Four. Three. Two. And one. Okay, our next Zoom is going to be on Sunday. This Zoom has been recorded. Uh, it will be posted likely in the uh, um, in the mid to late morning um, New York uh, time uh, in our uh, Telegram rooms. Um, feel free to get this recording out to those that weren't able to get on um, tonight that you want them to hear this messaging, particularly a deeper dive into um, the uh, billion dollar mind generational wealth plan. With that being said, we're going to see you on Sunday night uh, as we do a deep dive into the four pillars and how we can begin to apply those four pillars to our lives to affect uh, true transformation in those areas that are important to us, whether it's in relationships, health, wealth. With that being said, we love each and every one of you. Let's transform this world together, starting with yours. Good night, everyone. <laughs>